He won his first five glory starts in two different divisions. Here is Serhey Adamchuk. You can see how full of confidence the Ukrainian bad boy is. His, his motive tonight and his game plan, stick and move, stick and move. He doesn't want to get backed into a corner by Robin Van Rusma. No, it's going to be a big, tough fight for him, and he's going to have to be able to change his style. Um, it's going to be very hard for him to pressure fight the whole time, and it's going to be hard for him to move. So he's going to have to really mix up his styles quite a bit tonight. He's coming off a successful defense of the belt over Pat Padamrung in Denbos. Here is Roven Van Roosmalen. Featherweight champion of the world, former lightweight champion of the world, Robin Van Roosmalen, known as Poker Face. But there's no hiding his level of confidence coming to this fight. He thinks, he knows he's the best in the world, and not only believes he's going to beat Serhey Adamchuk tonight, but he thinks it won't even be close. Yeah, he's been just incredible. And um, you've got to put him in as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in kickboxing today. He's got currently 17 glory fights on his career, so not only does he have the power, he has the experience and the skill set to back it up, and he's even talked about even going to welterweight, possibly, to be a three-division champion, but I still think that's in the distant future. Here is our tale of the tape for this, the featherweight championship of the world. Roman Van Roosmalen fighting out of the Netherlands, Sergei Adamchuk from the Ukraine, but also fighting here in Holland. Van Roosmalen and Adamchuk, both 27 years old, but the Ukrainian will have a two inch height advantage and a three inch reach edge. We're looking at the fight metric report and you can just see 12 knockdowns for Robin Van Roosmalen um, that he gave to his opponents, only four. Um, so you know he has the difference in power, but you're gonna see Adam Chuck be a little bit more like Big Mike was saying before, in and out and move, and that's where he has the advantage in being uh, a little bit more of the busier fighter. Championship rules, we've got five rounds, three minutes long each, punches, kicks, and knees are the legal strikes, three knockdowns in a round, four in the fight, and it's a TKO. And tonight in Amsterdam, five judges will score the belt using the 10-point must system. Scoring is based on knockdowns, damage, queen scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges are looking at aggressiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the Glory Featherweight Championship of the World between two men on a collision course to once again decide who reigns supreme among the world's featherweights. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association. And at the bell, your referee is Paul Nichols. From the Netherlands to Nepal, Glory Kickboxing fans are tuned in and watching around the world. It's time for Glory! Let's meet the challenger fighting out of the black corner. He's a kickboxer trained in Muay Thai and Russian Sambo. His professional record, 35 wins with eight losses, 14 of those wins coming by knockout. 
at five feet eight and a half inches, 1.74 meters. He went in at 142 pounds, 64.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Ukraine, he is the former glory featherweight champion of the world. He is Sergei Adamchuk. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a two division champion, winner of eight of his last nine bouts. His record, 38 wins with seven losses, 21 of those wins by knockout. At five feet, six and a half inches, 1.69 meters. He weighed in at 142 and one half pounds, 64.6 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, here is the reigning, defending, undisputed, glory featherweight champion of the world, Ruben Pokerface Van Roosmalen. And once again, your referee in charge is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fine too. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. World title fight, I expect you to fight like a world title. Any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Break. Will Robin Van Roosman cement his place as the greatest featherweight in glory history? Ready? Or will Sergei Adamchuk pull off the upset and reclaim his crown? Adamchuk in the black gloves. Ruben Van Roosman wearing white. There's Adamchuk with that stick and move. Right away, Van Roosman trying to close in on him. Right! Every fight tonight on this glory card has ended by way of knockout. In fact, we've only seen the second round one time. Will we get another KO here in the biggest fight of them all for the featherweight championship of the world? As predicted, it's Van Roosmalen applying all the pressure. Adam Chuck just hitting and moving, trying to move on angles. Doesn't want to stay a standing target against the ropes. Mixing in good knees. Ruben Van Roosmalen, according to the bookies, about a four and a half to one favorite over the Ukrainian. Would be a major upset for sure. But Adam Chuck has been here before. Former champion will not be intimidated by a poker face. Break. Break. Big Mike Passanier in the corner of Surrey Adamchuk. Nice shift. He's using a lot of feints, trying to get Robin to bite and then change angles. Yeah, very nice. What has the first minute and a half told you about the path of this fight, Joe? Well, I think it's RVR that's going to really have to constantly chase down uh, Adam Chuck, where you can see Adam Chuck just good footwork. Hit and move, hit and move, but the question is can he move for five rounds? Just got caught with the right hand of Ben Rusmo. That's another hold there by Adamchuk. May be warned here in a minute by our referee. And Rusman has landed some power punches. Yeah, and he won't let you go. See how he just tracks you back into the corner. But when he's tracking you down, he's forcing you to move to be to create tension. So it is exhausting. But I'm sure Adamchuk's in the best shape of his life. Van Roosmalen has fought as high as 170 pounds before. And he's beaten 170 pounders. Won a lightweight championship. And so far in the featherweight division has mowed down everybody. Break. Break. His most impressive performance to date had to be the night he won the featherweight title when he beat Gabriel Varga and made it look so simple. Very impressive round. I think both guys had success with their style. The pressure of Robin seemed to be doing well and scoring for him. Adam Chuck, style of stick and move has been working for him. Very close round. In the ring, we've seen some fantastic kickboxers. We've also seen some pretty darn good ones outside the ring. There's the former welterweight champion of the world, Nikki Holskin, Badr Hari, a true kickboxing legend. 
Alistair Overy. I saw him in Tokyo last weekend with UFC. He's here in Amsterdam. There's Rico Verhoeven and Stefan Struve, another UFC fighter. And there, of course, is Jamal Big Ben Sadiq and Myrtle Grunhardt, the reigning king at 170 pounds, fresh off his victory. And he is living life here in Amsterdam. And our glory girls, of course, always here with a smile on their face. They haven't gotten much work today, right? No. This is only the second time we've seen a round two. Fight! Who'd you give round one to? Man, that's close. Um, I just think you have to value that pressure fighting of Robin. Adam Chuck is landing, but a lot of them off, are off the guard. Still a very close round. I'm not 100% certain, so. But slight advantage to Robin for that aggressiveness. And we do have five judges tonight. Sometimes it's only three, but plenty of discussion ringside right now. Looking at those scorecards, I'm sure. But Adam Chuck does have the right strategy. If you're just joining us, boy, have you missed an amazing fight night. We've had four fights, four knockouts. No fights have been, have seen round three. Only one in round two. So this feels like a marathon right now, this fight. Good combination there, but was mostly blocked by Van Roosmalen. I'm surprised we really haven't seen any kicks from Adam Chuck. It just seems like he's comfortable using his boxing and moving. Seems like Adam Chuck's doing better when he meets Van Roosmalen in the center of the ring, but instead he backs up against the ropes. Yeah, it's when he times Robin coming in. So this is when he creates that space. And then as Robin comes in, he uses that knee. Or a straight left. But Robin, in all of his fights you've seen, I've never really seen him hurt too bad. He's got a really tough chin, very durable. He can just stay in the pocket all day and be comfortable in there. Tomorrow is Van Roosmalen's birthday. Said he's going to have a salsa party. I don't salsa, he added, but I have plenty of friends that do. So he's uh, he said he's going to drink some whiskey earlier and watch people do salsa dancing. But you've got to believe if he loses this fight, that party will be canceled. An uber competitive fighter is Ruben Van Roosmo. He just constantly tracks Fight. you against the ropes. Fight. Really focused, hitting the body. You gotta wonder how long Adam Schuch can continue to back up at this pace. He's expending a lot of energy. That's the question. I like when he uses his kicks. It seems like Robin's defense is a little too tight for those punches. Big Mike Passanier in the corner of Sergei Adamchuk. And then Ruben Van Roosman's corner. It's his father who actually beat Vladimir Klitschko in a kickboxing fight many years before be, before Klitschko, of course, of course, became the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Yeah, they have a very good uh, son and father relationship as well as a, a coach and student. So yeah, a lot of the success from Robin has to come from watching his dad fight while he was growing up and now in his corner. His dad needed some water, Robin didn't. It is hot in here. What a stretch we have coming up for you here in Gloria. Great time to be a kickboxing fan from here. We head to China in two weeks. Rico Verhoeven in action against Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Then it's on to Lyon and the return of light heavyweight champion Artem Vahitov. And then back to the United States of America. December 1st, Madison Square Garden. You're seeing round three for the first time tonight.
Robin Van Roosmalen and Serhii Adamchuk in this featherweight world title fight. Interesting to see how Adamchuk's going to take this third round. Is he going to keep moving, or is he going to decide to stay in the pocket and try to counter and exchange back? Using his footwork and angles again. Robin said, listen, no one's going to stand and trade with me. I know that. Yeah, and what I mean by in the pocket is what Robin does best. It's called that inside range, where both guys go head to head. And then from there, that's where Robin shines. But in that range right there, that's where we need to see Adam Chuk put some combinations together. Would you like to see Van Roosman be a little bit more aggressive when he gets Serhei in the corner? Well, like right here. Because Adam Chuk's doing a good job at moving. He's sneaking out, right. angling out, or clinching right. up like that. So I think. Well, Joe, you told me how important footwork is. Obviously, there's a way that Van Roosmalen can almost trap him in the corner, cut the ring off. But when I talk about footwork, both of these guys have really good footwork. You're just talking about different types of footwork, where Adam Chuk is the fighter who's trying to move on angles, stay outside, where ring control in, in kickboxing is very important, and that's what Robin does best with his footwork. And he's landing punches now as Adam Chuk's getting, it's getting tougher for him to get out of these corners. But right again, he establishes his dominance Ooh, in the center of the ring. connected, and it throws Adam Chuk in his tracks as he smiles it off. See how calm Robin can stay there. No problem. He's willing to eat those punches and kicks because he knows he's going to get a chance to throw his own. Exactly. But it's that range he's good at. And it looks easy. You know, the basic strategy you see is fight on angles, move, pin his hands. It's easier said than done. And Adam Shook is circling towards the power hand of Van Roosmal. What do you think of that strategy? Well, I think Robin's just powerful in both hands. He has to mix it up. He can't always turn one way. Mix it up. Big Mike yelling beautiful to Adam Shook. Maybe he wants him to stand and fight a little bit. I would think so. Because he's not scoring enough points fighting backwards. It doesn't look like he's dominating in any way. Van Roosman looks as good as ever. His last fight was certainly a struggle. Yeah, all off the defense, too. Fetch Panarung took him to a split decision, a majority decision win, rather. That happened back in May in the hometown of Van Roosman, Den Bosch. Joe, this fight has kind of flown by. Three rounds in the books. And let's see the punch, or maybe it was a kick that kind of froze Sir Hey Adam Chuk from moving. For me, it looked like a right hand. Let's see what it was. Oh, it looked like a right, a right hook might have clipped him. I think this might be it. No. I think it's. There's a Could right have been hand. that right hook there. There you go. Joe, we head into round four now. How do you have it through three? Well, the first round is really close, but I give those last two rounds to, to Robin Van Roosmalen. So easily Robin up two to three rounds. These are the championship rounds, four and five. We are in Amsterdam. Todd Grisham and Joseph Valtellini ringside. The featherweight championship of the world on the line. Ruben Van Roosmalen, current title holder, wearing white gloves. The challenger, Sergei Adamchuk, wearing black. And what does the Ukrainian need to change, Joe, if he is indeed down two or three rounds? He needs to show a little bit more dominance, aggression. Try to stay back uh, and counter back more. Don't just wait. Try to, to hit a little bit more than move. Right. Because that first round was close, so he still has a chance to, to pick it up in these last two rounds. And Rusman, as expected, has been the aggressor since the opening bell. 
And here are the total strikes. Very close. 48 landed for Adam Chuck, 46 for Van Roosma. Remember, it's about damage, too. Robin seems to be a little bit more damaged with his punches. In his last fight against Dylan Salvador, we saw a much more aggressive Adam Chuck. But he's maybe changed strategies because he just wants to win the title any way he can. Well, it is the style difference. You know, when you have a heavy power puncher who's in your face constantly, you know, it's so hard to, to sit and fight back when you're not the, the more powerful of the two. Nice low kick by Van Roosmolen. Haven't seen a ton of that in this fight. No, it could be the southpaw that's throwing down uh, the low kicks, but that inside leg's right there for Van Roosmolen. And look at that, just one landed kick for Adam Chuck. Surprised? And, yeah, and he went to the body as a, as a north-south, and Adam Chuck's the southpaw. Groven's the orthodox. A perfect strategy is the rear kick for both guys. But not many of them. Adam Chuck seems more content trying to land that knee. And again, Adam Chuck backing up to the ropes. That's just fine with Van Roosmolen. Look how quick Van Roosmolen's hands get back up after he throws a punch. Oh, yeah, he always stays uh, very defensive. And a lot of guys, when they fight Robin, they think that the body's easy to hit because he has a high guard, but that short torso and power just makes it almost impossible to land. Good jab there from Adam Chuck. He's tried that knee several times. Yeah, Robin stays really tight defensively. It's going to be really hard to land that. I'm sure Adam Chuck has hit Robin's elbows a few times. So we'll head to the fifth and final round for the featherweight championship of the world. Joe, I would assume another round in the bank for RVR. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it could easily be four rounds to nothing for Robin. Again, that first round, in my opinion, was super close. And according to the way I would score it, it's the advantage to Van Roosmal and just pressuring more and, and, and being the aggressor. Well, if you're Big Mike in the corner of Adam Chuck, what do you tell him now that he probably needs a knockout? Yeah, just let's go. Let's go. Let's put all of our hard work in. Let's stand in the pocket a little bit more and try to exchange back and forth. Let's try to counter back. Let's try to put him out. The future has already been written for the winner of this fight. They will face contender tournament winner Kevin Vanostrand in Madison Square Garden December 1st for the featherweight championship. But right now, it looks like it's going to be Van Roosmal. Yeah. Kevin Van Vanostrand looked good in his, you know, his contender's tournament win. So exciting fight. Three minutes left. Will the domination of Van Roosmalen continue, or can Adam Chuk find some magic? Here we go. Adam Chuk trying to jump right on Van Roosmalen here. I say break, you break. Fight! Yeah, he's, we sense that urgency. And this is the fight that Van Roosmalen wants. You can see him say, come on. There's nothing to hold on to anymore. If you're Adam Chuck, let's go. Let it all out. Empty the tank. Van Roosmalen is enjoying this. His swelling under his left eye begins. There's that kick we were looking for earlier. Break! Fight! The left eye of Van Roosmalen starting to close now. Too bad for Adam Chuck. He wasn't able to do that damage a little earlier in the fight. A good first minute, though, for the Ukrainian. A lot of people don't realize how exhausting it is to move. You can hit pads all day, but can you move for five rounds? It's a different type of energy system. And move backwards. Yeah, you need to keep moving. There's someone attacking you. Drill that. You know, in your camps, drill this. Move your feet for five rounds without throwing. Back into the fray, Steph Van Roosmalen. Not going to change his strategy now. Oh. 
Nice right hook from Adam Chuk. Trying to exit out with it. Well, this is the best round so far for Adam Chuk. Definitely he had a very good beginning of this round. Fight. Slowing down now. And the fight statistics, at least landed punches wise, pretty similar. But as you mentioned, it's Van Roosman who's controlling the ring and, and landing the heavier, more damaging strikes. Well, the strategy for Adam Chuk is to keep his hands active because Robin's a counter puncher. So by staying active, you keep him pinned. He doesn't throw as much. But when he counters, you got you got to get out of the way. Break! Break! There's the total strikes I was telling you about. 66 to 65. Whoa! That rolling thunder. Rolling thunder kick. Adam Chuk looking like the Karate Kid. That's the music he came out to. And landed some powerful strikes now. And maybe, just maybe, Van Roosman in a little bit of trouble. Ten seconds to go. They'll swing it out to the end of the bell. Ro looks like Robin's nose is bleeding, too. And he's trying it again. Was it too little, too late? A fantastic finish for Sergei Adam Chuk. But before that, it was mostly Robin Van Roosman show. Yeah, and it's still that last little bit of success. That's what we needed more a little earlier from Adam Chuk, but I mean, still a strong finish for him. This is where he set up that rolling thunder kick, still blocked by the guard of Van Roosmalen. Van Roosmalen saw it coming, but it sure didn't look nice. Yeah, Adam Chuk has been throwing that around once or twice in his fights. A, left, a right uppercut from Adam Chuk landed. There's an uppercut. Second one. So a great finish for Sergei Adamchuk. Should he have been doing that type of fighting earlier in this fight? Or the reason he was successful in round five is because he'd worn Van Roosman down a little bit. Yeah, he pushed the pace a little bit more, countered back, and got on the got on the offense. Who is the featherweight champion of the world? The official decision when we return to the Netherlands. We welcome you back here to Amsterdam. Let's look at our highlights from this featherweight world title fight, Van Roosmalen and Sergei Adamchuk. And right from the start, the game plans really showed. It was Van, Van Roosmalen pressuring, where Adamchuk was trying to move and fight on the outside. But the pressure fighting and, and the hard counter punches of Robin Van Roosmalen seemed to be too much for Adamchuk. Robin continued to press, landed good boxing, Mixed in a few kicks of his own, but that fifth round, Adam Chuk came alive, really put his offense on showcase. This was the end of the fight where he did two rolling thunders, and it looked like he clipped the nose of Van Roosmalen, but like we said earlier, maybe a little too much too late. Or too little. Too little too, too late. It was too late, whatever it was, Joe. Or was it the official decision coming up next as we look at our strike statistics? And look at that. Adam Chuk actually landed 10 more strikes. And yeah, you can see Adam Chuk really trying to mix up levels with his strikes. Van Roosmalen looking at the legs, but a lot of those headshots were doing uh, the most damage for him, where Adam Chuk was looking for those knees, and that's where we see those 26 strikes to the body on Van Roosmalen. You know what? Maybe we have it all wrong, Joe. Maybe we do have Maybe. a new world champion. Let's find out now from Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. Three of our judges score the bout 48-47. The final two judges have it 49-46. All for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, glory featherweight champion of the world, the belt, Glory's Managing Director of Sport, Cor Hammers, and kickboxing legend and UFC number one heavyweight, Mr. Alistair Overeem.
congratulations, and still, that has to feel good to hear that. Yeah, it feels really good. So this seemed to be a little bit more of a competitive match than you anticipated. Can you rate your performance for me? I think we had a great, great game plan. We did everything what we should do. I expected them to be a little bit more attractive, a little bit more attacking, like his last fight against Salvador. But okay, this is what we have to do. That's how we did it. So. In the fifth round, were you ever hurt or worried when he really seemed to open up? Uh, no, he hit me a couple times good, but this is kickboxing. There's no tennis, so it's enough. So tonight, this is your birthday. What are you going to do? Uh, right now, I'm going to eat some pizza and drink with my friends and relax. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your champion, Robin Van Roosmalen.